this is a the second tutorial on how to extract emails based on the geographical location with social email extractor now we talked briefly about in the first tutorial about changing your what's called the search criteria to specific SMTP providers uh, unique to the country that you're targeting and also with respect to keywords and changing common keywords to the language of the country that you're targeting. Uh, I want to talk a little bit further about a couple different uh, additional methods and how you can zero in on a specific city. So I've got an old tutorial here from the forum that is no longer up and basically what you're going to want to do is include the city names after the after any keywords that you choose so if you're targeting in this specific instance I've used auto body mechanics as uh, the niche if you're targeting anybody you could use the 500 common keywords generic keywords followed by the city in the keyword box. Um, I'll reference a link for that website in the uh, in the description. Now let's see if I can zoom out here. You're also going to want to use SMTP providers where possible. So let's see if I can readjust Firefox. This is one website that I found so you should be able to see the <coughs> excuse me, the domain at the top. But I'll include this in the description as well. This has got um, there's a few just that popped up from Norway that I noticed. So you could go ahead and just copy and assuming Norway was your target country, copy these SNTP providers. So there's three right there, but there's also uh, you know enter.vg Mail start, Nord's mail. So you'll want to do some research and find out, you know, is it at nordsmail.com? You'll want it, you have to include that, that at symbol within your search criteria uh, to target that specific SMTP provider. And again, to reiterate something from the last video, if you've got an SMTP provider from Norway and you're targeting a Twitter user or whatever the case is, there's a really good chance of a direct relevance with respect to that user and that email. The other thing I would suggest doing in, in this specific uh, extraction is we've got you know specific US cities here we're targeting. But if we were targeting Norway and we would use a and we were using a specific city in Norway, we could go ahead and use this neat little tool down here under your geographical location and select the country in question. The other thing you'll want to do is try mixing it up. If you've got some English words, maybe try an extraction in English with the city. Try an extraction in Norwegian with the city. The cool thing with C is you're able to mix things up. You, you're not limited to, okay, we're going to start an extraction, set it up for this country, and that's it. You can play with keywords, you can play with city names, you can play with SMTP providers or search criteria, which is, you know, again from the previous video, nobody's going to have a, the default list we have here is kind of geared more or less for North America, even in the what's what I call combine all, this search criteria list. So don't even bother using this list if you're targeting another country. It, just, it doesn't make any sense because most of these are not going to have any relevance to the country in question. If you're from Norway or Germany or Italy or whatever the case is, they people from there probably sign up with a an email provider unique, specific to their country, just as we have here in some cases. Now, I'm pretty sure that some of the major players, Yahoo, Gmail, etc., etc., have 
have have uh, domains unique to those countries. However, I don't know if you know if somebody from Italy is going to have an at gmail.com email address. Maybe it's at gmail.it. I'm not too sure. So I'll follow up with the video in that respect. But hopefully this will give you some additional ideas on how to extract emails from other countries.